November 15th. What is that to you? John 21, 21 to 22 says, Peter said to Jesus, But Lord, what about this man? And Jesus said to him, What is that to you? You follow me. One of the hardest lessons to learn comes from our stubborn refusal to refrain from interfering in other people's lives. It takes a long time to realize the danger of being an immature providence, that is, interfering with God's plans for others. You see someone suffering and say, He will not suffer and I will make sure that he doesn't. You put your right hand in front of God's permissive will to stop it. And then God says, what is that to you? Is there stagnation in your spiritual life? Don't allow it to continue. But get into God's presence and find out the reason for it. You will possibly find it is because you have been interfering in the life of another proposing things you had no right to propose, or advising when you had no right to advise. When you do have to give advice to another person, God will advise through you with the direct understanding of the Holy Spirit. Your part is to maintain the right relationship with God so that with His discernment, it can come through you continually for the purpose of blessing someone else. Most of us live only within the level of consciousness, consciously serving and consciously devoted to God. This shows immaturity and the fact that we have not yet be living the real Christian life. Maturity is produced in the life of a child of God on the unconscious level until we become so totally surrendered to God that we are not even aware of being used of Him. When we are consciously aware of being used as broken bread and poured out wine, we have yet another level to reach, a level where all awareness of ourselves and what God is doing through us is completely eliminated. A saint is never consciously a saint. A saint is consciously dependent on God.